I am still in my car. I just picked up a package from Tamu where I ordered what they called an air conditioner. And this is what I received. The box says humidifying fan. Okay, I know this is not going to be like a full-blown air conditioner. I'm figuring it's one of those evaporated coolers. No, oh, I guess humidifying fan would be <laughs> qualify as that. Okay, well, let's get in here and see what I got. I'm really glad this came today because being in the Mojave Desert in a heat wave, it's, um, well, actually, it's just like, it's early summer still, and it's 99 degrees right now, and I still don't have electricity, so I ordered this, hoping that my uh, solar power box will run it. So, it's not huge, which is fine, because, you know, I wanted something small that my would run off my, um, what do you call it, solar generator is what I have, and it's not real high power. I mean, it, it runs like the little mini USB fans and stuff, so I'm hoping it'll run this and cool down the house a bit, or at least a room. Okay, well, I'm going to go set this up and hopefully take a little nap. Okay, it it works. I mean, I plugged it into my power box and hit the power button and the fan is blowing. And it actually does feel cool. I haven't even put any uh, cold water in it yet. So um, I have some. I'm going to use some of my handy dandy fresh out of my cooler. <laughs> I freeze these at work and then I keep them in my cooler. And that's my refrigeration process in my off-grid life. So I guess I can't say it's completely off-grid at the moment because I have to do use electricity elsewhere. However, well anyway, I won't get into that. So there's some ice cold water in there. And I haven't even played with any of the functions yet. Okay, that's a timer. Ooh! That sprays a, a mist of the water. That could be really nice. Okay, here's my water part, guys. <laughs> when we get up into actual triple digits, I mean, it's, it's 99 degrees right now outside, so we're not far from the triples, which we're supposed to hit um, over the weekend, actually. And it has fancy lights, which I probably will not use. But how do I change that? Oh, it changes itself. Okay. So it'll rotate through those. And I apologize if you hear my backup singers here and there. It's like since we moved south, everybody's in heat all the time. It's one thing when I lived in Washington. Cats were quiet most of the time. They would come into heat here and there, but <laughs> down here, the climate is like, they're, I mean, they're just always on. So anyway, that's another project. I'll be downsizing my cattery very soon. So that's the late show there. <laughs> I'm sure when it's in the dark, it probably looks really awesome but um, so the reservoir for the water is not real deep um, just to show so my water well look okay, of course I gave a big block of ice in it but my water was about up to here somewhere and I poured down to there factoring that big block of ice so it does not hold a whole lot of water but when you hit that um, mister button Get a little sprinkle, the misting system. So that's um, 
I probably said that in the ad, but I didn't it didn't compute with me. I just thought, okay, it's going to be a, a evaporative cooler. So that's kind of nice when you need a quick cool down. So I give this a thumbs up or 10 stars or whatever. <laughs> um, I don't have a rating system yet. <laughs> but it's it runs off a USB cord. Um, it doesn't have the plug into a regular wall, so you'd have to um, do that on your own if you're using it with electricity. Um, but, you know, a lot of small devices now just come with a USB cord, so. Okay, so this is my power box that I'm using. And I turned off everything else that I had plugged into it, so I just want to show how much power it uses. And it's showing 2 watts. So this is really efficient cooling. Um, so I'm, I'm actually pleased with that. I didn't, I didn't realize it was going to be that low of a power draw. So I'm even happier with it now. Okay, for comparison, I just plugged in this little little tiny metal dust fan that um it's so quiet um it it's running on three watts and it i mean it has a good blow but it's noisy and clunky and um i mean i say you know this, this is kind of a staple too because these are nice in the winter time. You put them on the wood stove or near the wood stove and they help um, with efficiency of heat. But as far as cooling goes, I've not been finding it real efficient. It's better than absolutely nothing. But the fact that it's using more power than the little mister makes me love the mister even more. So I just realized this has different speeds. So I was showing it on one, but we also go on through all the way to six. Of course it gets a little louder with each um, increase in, in speed. So, all right, let me check this on the power box and see how much it's drawing. Okay, that's a bit, oh, hold on, I got the, I was like, whoa, that's way crazy. I have the lights on. So let me turn that off and see what it goes down to. All right, so we're at four with everything else turned off. So yeah, it on its fullest speed is, without the lights, is using four watts. Okay, let's check the wattage with the lights on. Okay, turn the light on and it is rotating through the different colors and we're still at four. So maybe I will use the light. Oh, okay, bounces down three to four. Maybe I will have the lights on after dark. And that's my new light light too. <laughs> All right, well, a good little deal. All right, so I think it's a good deal. This was um, under $20, including delivery. And so this is um, a desktop air conditioner, I think is what they refer to it as. I'll put the link below. And somewhere in here I'll probably pop a picture, a screenshot of the page as well. All right, thank you for watching. See you next time.